Welcome to this video on calling C++ libraries from MATLAB. There are many C++ libraries available for scientific computation, hardware integration, and specialized file I.O. MATLAB's C++ interface allows you to call C++ libraries directly from MATLAB without writing any additional C++ code. In this video, you'll see a demonstration of how to create an interface to an open source C++ library, and then call the library classes and functions from within MATLAB. Publishing an interface to a C++ library involves a few steps. The first three steps involve generating and customizing the interface. And the last part involves calling the functionality and sharing it with other users. Today I'm going to build an interface to the open source library edlib which is available on GitHub. edlib contains algorithms for calculating the edit distance of two strings. Edit distance is a term for the minimum number of operations required to transform one string into another. I've downloaded the GitHub files and followed the library author's instructions for building the library, which generates a static library file. Before creating a C++ interface, you need to make sure your compiler is set up. I'm going to use Microsoft Visual Studio compiler because it is the same compiler I use to build the edlib library file. The next step to publish an interface is to select your configurations. I've written a command here to the clibgen generate library definition function. I need to specify all the files which contain the functionality I want to expose in the interface. So I'm passing my header file, edlib.h, and the library file I built, edlib.lib. I want to name the interface edlib, so I've specified this as the package name. You can see the output message of this function tells me that 32 constructs are fully defined in the interface and a few constructs are only partially defined and need my attention. I'm going to open up this file called defineedlib.mlx, which was automatically generated. This is called the definition file, and you can use it to complete any missing definitions and customize how to use the functionality from MATLAB. Each section here defines a function or class or enumeration in the library. Some sections are commented out. This means they are only partially defined and will not be included in the interface unless you fill in the missing details. I want to call the edlib align function from MATLAB. So I'm going to search for it to see if it's defined already. The function is commented out, so that means I need to uncomment it and complete the definition. There are two arguments of the function which are missing information. These are the two strings that we want to find the edit distance between. MATLAB needs to know what data type to convert these to and the shape of the input. The C++ signature shows that the type is const char star and I would like to treat these inputs as MATLAB strings. So I'm going to set the MATLAB data type of these values to string, and I'll set their shape to null terminated. Before I build the interface, I can view a summary of all the functionality that will be included to make sure it's what I want. Now I'm going to call the build command. You can see a new folder was created and my interface is contained in here. 
The output tells me the build was successful and suggests adding this new interface folder to my MATLAB path. I can now call the library directly from MATLAB using the clib package. To use this package, you can type clib dot your package name dot the function name. You can use tab completion to see the available functionality. Now I want to test out the edlib align function, so I'm going to try out the sample code from the GitHub page in MATLAB. You can see that the only changes I've made are adding clib.edlib. in front of the function names. So the edit distance between the strings is 5. I've tested out my library now, and at this point I could share it with another user. The only thing I need to share is this edlibinterface.dll file. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a MATLAB interface to a C++ library. In the video description, you can find some useful documentation links for getting started. Thank you for watching, and we hope you will give the C++ interface a try.